And then breaking news, actually two stories that are breaking right now. The first in Jacksonville, where a city run organization says a teenager has been shot outside Andrew Jackson High School. A live look right now at the police presence and a lot of activity happening just outside of the school there. Um, I'm John Bachman. We're going to get more information on that. I believe it was a code red uh, situation there at the school. At Andrew Jackson According to the High district. School. Yeah. And I'm Emily Turner. I'm in for Tanika Hughes tonight. Let's get right over to Action News. Jack's Robert Grant, who is live at Andrew Jackson. And Robert, you just heard from the school district. And there is that code red lockdown in place right now. Yeah, and Emily, they are letting students out right now under that code red. I want to take a look again at the loop just behind us. This is the bus loop on West 30th where parents are being redirected to to let their students out. I did just talk to Cure Violence. Um, that is the city organization telling me a 17-year-old was shot just on the other side of the school. This happening just uh, a few minutes ago, talking to that Cure Violence individual. Uh, that member telling me the 17-year-old was taken to the hospital. We don't know their condition at this time, but I just, uh, Councilmember Reggie Gaffney uh, is up here right now. And, and Councilmember, if you don't mind, uh, real quickly, I want to ask you first uh, if you know anything about what happened here. I don't know all the details yet. That's why I'm up here trying to gather the evidence just like you. But I, I will say this, this city needs to have a revival right now. And if you're a pastor and you want to come one day within the next week or two downtown with me, and and pray and it's, it's just talk to God right now please call my office because we you can't throw money at this you just got to be able to reach up to heaven now and see if God can help us so I think my next action I'm going to call all pastors to pray with me within the next uh, two or three or four days that's what I want to do but given what little bit I know, I'm up here like you now trying to understand this nonsense because I'm tired of it. You know, I just got through talking to a mother with two young kids in her car. They was parked over there crying because she was right behind the car where the shooting was. And, and they all shook up. And so you're going to have a lot of mental health issues over here because these kids is nervous now and they're scared. But I think for leaders, we got to do our part. And I think the only thing I know to do now is reach out to the clergy community so they can come downtown with me at a precipitate date that I'm going to organize to come together and maybe other leaders, if you're interested, and see what we all can do to help our young kids. This has to stop. Councilmember, thank you so much. Stick around. I want to talk to you just after this. Uh, that's Councilmember Reggie Gaffney. You just heard from right there. Again, parents being told to pick up students at West 30th, the bus loop here. I'm hearing from Cure Violence, some one of the members there telling me that this shooting happened just on the other side of the school. A dark colored SUV pulled up and shot a 17 year old. That teen then taken to the hospital. We don't know their condition at this time, but I do know several students were around while all of this happening. Again, the school being let out under a code red lockdown. That's according to Duval County Public Schools. Of course, we are working to learn more and we'll bring you the very latest at five o'clock. But for now, we're putting live in Brentwood, Robert Grant, Action News Jacks.